And while the incoming government is looking to the future of the country, the main opposition Democratic United Party's leadership is looking back. They visited traditional DUP strongholds on Tuesday, where they focused on reflection and renewal. Our political correspondent Kim Yun Ji has more. The DUP interim leadership has kick-started its bus tour of the nation, aimed at apologizing to party supporters. The first stop was the city of Gwangju, about 300 kilometers south of Seoul, where the DUP's presidential candidate Moon Jae-in garnered an overwhelming 92 percent of the vote in last month's presidential election. The leaders visited the May 18th National Cemetery, the burial site for the civilians killed during the 1980 Gwangju uprising a pro-democracy demonstration against the authoritarian Chen Duhuan regime. The DUP leaders knelt down on their knees once again to offer their sincere apology to the people for their election loss. A day earlier, the wife of late President Kim Dae-jung, the founder of the DUP, urged the party leadership to start from the very bottom. You must go around the nation, visiting people in small villages as well. You must raise their awareness of the party and gain their trust to achieve a transfer of government the next time around. On Tuesday, the DUP leaders walked up and down the streets of Yangdong Traditional Market in Gwangju and visited a senior citizen center in Hanpyeong, South Chola Province. They encountered words of disappointment and rebuke from some they met. The people said the DUP's election loss was not surprising, given that its campaign lacked a policy direction and that it failed to successfully merge with former independent candidate An Chul Su. On the issue of how the DUP should go about reforming itself, the people called for an end of factional disputes within the party. While the emergency leadership has embarked on this tour, hoping to show the public their commitment to reform and change through action, Critics say they are just putting on another show. The emergency leadership will visit Pongha Village in Kimhe Wednesday to pay their respects to former late President No Mu Hyun before moving on to Busan. Kim Yeonji, Arirang News.